All right, so I'm recording this again. I'm gonna have to change what the, a little bit about the video. I already voted for this, but I had the my Yeti muted on Streamlabs, so I'm re-recording this. So anyway, I want to show off uh, the Game Awards website. Show off uh, the games I voted. So game of the year we have Deathloop, It Takes Two, Metroid Dread, Psychonauts, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, or Resident Evil Village, also known as Resident Evil Eight. I voted for Metro Dread. That's my game of the year. Uh, best action, best game direction, I chose Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Uh, I also, before I continue, I haven't played all these games, but I still kind of want to uh, vote for some of them that I think deserve some recognition. So, yeah. But I'm also going to be skipping some of these. So, best narrative. Death Loop. Best Art Direction. I decided Kina Bridge of Spirits. I'm really wanting to play that game. Best Score of Music. Death Loop. Cyberpunk was on the list. No, not not my choice. I was just kind of surprised to see it. Uh, but that's not about the play style. I actually don't know much about the music in the game, so I'll let it, you know, fine, whatever. Best Audio Design. Death Loop. Uh, you can pause the video if you guys want to um, read these people so yeah best performance but i'm not gonna go over them probably not not to be disrespectful but you know i just want to show my choices though so games for impact we have life is strange true colors best ongoing games i didn't ch choose that best indie game i decided kina or kina bridge of spirits best mobile game skipping that Best Community Support, Final Fantasy XIV Online. Innovation in Accessibility, I decided Forza Horizon 5. I think that game looks pretty good. Uh, there's Best of VR or AR, Virtual Reality slash or Augmented Reality. Are any of these Augmented Reality games? I, I don't know. I, haven't, I have played the original. I have played Resident Evil 4, but not in VR, though. Best action game, Death Loop. Best action adventure, I decided Metroid Dread. Best role playing, I decided Monster Hunter Rise. That's the game I've seen more of over these. Why and Cyberpunk does not deserve. To, okay, you know music fine, but Cyberpunk does not deserve to be on as an RPG award. No way. Best fighting game. The Nickelodeon game looks pretty good. Um. I was kind of surprised they didn't show Smash, but I understand it's Smash has been out since 2018. But, I mean, you know, they were still adding DLC up until this year. You know, this... Sora's the last character. Anyway, Best Family, Super Mario 3D World, plus Bowser's Fury. Best Sim or Strategy, I decided. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, I remember playing... I don't remember if it was Flight Sim 96 or 7 or whatever year... Uh, a long time ago on PC. I have it in here somewhere, but I'd have to dig for it. But I do remember playing one of the older ones. That was fun. Best sports for racing, Forza Horizon 5. One of these days I am going to own a Forza game. Best multiplayer, content creator of the year. Here's all these people. I don't know any of them. Best debut indie, Kena Bridge of Spirits. Most anticipated game, uh, definitely Breath of the Wild 2. For me. Best esports game, Valorant, I guess. I kind of have enjoyed Valorant, but. I think I don't think Valorant deserves, like, Game of the Year, obviously. But I would like to see it, like, win some kind of. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I changed my mind. That's esports. Okay. I'm going to say no. No, okay. I didn't, I didn't realize it was esports, so I'm going to take that back. Best esports athlete. We have these people. Best esports team. Best esports coaches. Or coach, I should say. Because it would just be one person. Best esports event. And, oh, and that looks like the. the yeah, so. Uh, uh, this video, you might be a little confused why I'm showing this off. Well, I kind of wanted to show some stuff off about the Game Awards. I didn't do that a couple days ago, so I decided I may as well do that by showing. What I voted for. I'm probably going to get some dislikes for that, but that's fine. 
YouTube dis removed the dislike button. No, they didn't remove the dislike button. They removed the number of dislikes you get, which I really don't like. I would rather have more dislikes than likes than not have the dislikes show. You know what I mean? I mean, I obviously want more likes than dislikes, but just saying if the dislikes show, I could say, like, hmm, maybe I should change my content. So I do apologize for this kind of video. Probably may not be the one you're looking for. Uh, also, I know I didn't go over to read every single one uh, of the choices. So I do apologize for that. But the main point was I kind of wanted to show, um, talk about, make a game, make a video on the Game Awards this year because I didn't do that yet. And then I also kind of wanted to show off what I thought deserved to win. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the Game Awards, what you want to see there, what you want to see win, what is your game of the year. I'd like to know. Mine is Metroid Dread. Anyway, that's going to be it. I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.